to kick off Raw, we witnessed Stephanie McMahon and Triple H literally add insult to injury as they officially stripped Daniel Bryan of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It was confirmed that his neck injury will cause him to take more time off than originally expected, so he won't be able to compete at Money in the Bank. The authority was damn sure happy about the developments here, but what about you guys? Thank God. Holy shit. And it's no slight against Daniel Bryan because I really believe in his talent. He's such a good little hand. But listen, real talk though. We need a champion that's able to defend the title. And having the title off of TV for a whole month and a half now has really been detrimental toward the, the, the prestige that the title holds within the company. So they went ahead and did what they should have done in the first place. They went ahead and put the title up for grabs in the Money in the Bank ladder match. That way it gives the match more significance. And hey, maybe we'll actually get a Money in the Bank match that main events a Money in the Bank pay-per-view. I mean, what a novel concept. Am I right? Well, Cena did it two years ago. Does that? And they did it last year. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Well, it's funny because this comes from the person who gave up on Daniel Bryan before WrestleMania. So that's fine. Anyway. Are you talking about me? Yes. Mr. I'll hand him the shovel my fucking self. I wasn't giving up on Daniel Bryan. I was just, I wasn't anti-Daniel Bryan. I was pro-Triple H. Don't confuse the two. You're like Jay with his CM Punk thoughts. Don't, don't compare me with that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. This kind of sucks. I was hoping we'd get a longer title reign out of Daniel Bryan just to validate the chase that we've had for seven months. But we do we do need a champion, and if he can't come back, he's it, belt's got to get off him. They gave him a ton of time, and this was the kind of thing that made it like I was so confused at how the authority were heels about this. Like, sure, they were dicks about it, but like freaking Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler are trying to be like, oh, he, this is awful, they stripped the title, how could they do this? And it's like, it's been a month and a half. Like, like we need, we, like, shit needs to go on. Like, I did not understand the heel, them being heels from that perspective. The match for the title, I think it's good to have that match for the title. The only problem is I don't see anybody that I want to win it, so that's going to be an issue. But, however, if this gets rid of Money in the Bank briefcase, that's good stuff. So, that that's positive. Stripping the title from him really sucks because we really wanted that lengthy title reign so that the past seven months of torture were all for something great and sucks that it won't be, but he's going to have a chase when he comes back, which will be good. So good for Daniel Bryan. Go home, recover, get off Raw, and come back better than ever. I'm not happy for Daniel Bryan's injury, but I am happy that he's not returning for money in the bank because, number one, he won't be facing Kane in that awful storyline. And number two, the worst possible match outcome the, the worst possible stipulation he would have to return for because this guy is recovering off of one of the worst injuries any athlete or any person in, in general can get and then you're going to probably shove him into some kind of sick ladder match or a buried alive match or whatever the hell they're going to come up with that would not have been good for him that would have honestly probably cut off a few years off of his career so maybe this is a blessing in disguise for him missing this uh this pay-per-view. I'm going to agree with Charlie. I didn't really see the authority as heels here. Uh, they kind of have an identity crisis every now and then. I honestly think that they did Daniel Bryan a favor because I would have stripped, the moment I heard he had an injury like this, I would have stripped him immediately. And this is coming from uh, someone who regards Daniel Bryan as my favorite wrestler. And this is probably the reason why he's injured because everybody that's in my fave five either gets injured, dies, or never mind. Uh, yeah, this, this was, <laughs> this was a, uh, best for business. I cannot believe I'm saying that, but this was the best move for business. I'm dreading, I know exactly who's going to win the Money in the Bank match. I'm dreading it, but we may as well get it out of the way because it's going to happen. As but if a certain straight-edge superstar from Chicago returns in Boston to win the title in front of me? Yeah, even I'm not going to hold out hopes for that. That's why I bought my ticket, so if he doesn't show up, WWE, I want a refund. Yeah, I, uh, I wouldn't be shocked if we had two Money in the Bank matches just because, you know, it seems like they would be, uh, it would be funny if that No! 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 no. I'm not no. saying I want it, but I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, they've been doing... Who the hell's going to be in the second one? We only got, like, six people that can be in the first one. Why the hell do we even go down to one title if we're going to do two matches? 
I mean, they they haven't done one Money in the Bank match in a while now, so I'm they haven't had one title in a while either. Well, I could be wrong. Don't 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 put that shit out into the universe, David. I'm not playing. Don't do that shit. <laughs> And let's be honest, we all know I paid to see Roman Reigns, so let's be real. Roman Reigns rising up and winning that title. Uh, uh, too, is there anyone who's going to be Seth Rollins? Just, just so you know. Like, with Triple H on his side, he can conquer everything. <laughs> but it really sucks with Daniel Ryan. Like, out of all the stuff he had to do to win those titles, finally get there, he got hurt. which It really sucks. But the titles had to be stripped from him. I'm, like, it's kind of stupid if the title was not on the show for two, like, two months. So, it's good to see that. Hopefully he comes back and he actually gets put in the title match straight away. He doesn't have to, like, work his ass off just to get back there. So, I think it was a good decision, but we'll just see where it goes. And hopefully a certain someone doesn't win the title. And, yeah, that would suck if that certain someone happens to win. <laughs> you know, I know I'm probably going to go to hell for this, but I enjoyed that promo from Triple H and Stephanie way more than any decent person should have. Because this is a real-life injury that caused them to mercilessly rip Daniel Bryan to shreds. My favorite moment from every single thing that happened on Monday Night Raw was when Tref when Stephanie, I was about to say Trephany, Triple H and Stephanie, whatever. <laughs> when Stephanie said, you can't expect an A-plus recovery from a B-plus player, I was like, well, damn, that was a bit excessive, brutal, actually. As much as I love the authority, I was like, man, that maybe went a little bit too far. So, David, I disagree with you when you say that they have identity crises sometime because this wasn't one of those situations. Because, yes, they had to strip Danny Bryan of the championship. That necessarily wasn't what made them heels. What made them heels is how they handled the situation, how they sat there for about 15 minutes and eviscerated his entire fucking life that's what made them heels and uh yeah hey it's all in the game though but seriously even though i tip my hat to triple h and stephanie for being great heels i take absolutely no pride or glee in the message that was delivered and i just want to clarify i did not want for this to happen the reason I was so adamant that Danny Bryan needed to be stripped of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship is because that's what needed to happen. For lack of a better phrase, or shit, this is the most perfect phrase. The most appropriate way to say it. It's what's best for business. Oh, and, and he's, a, he's a stockholder, so. He's a stockholder, Didn't you say so the exact I'd same expect, thing? I'd expect nothing less from Jay. Didn't you say the exact same thing? I'm not, a stock, I'm exactly, not a stockholder. Exactly. Okay. Well, so wait a minute. So wait a minute. And I, and I said it. Be, I said it because I'm a stockholder, and you said it because double standard. I, I didn't wait a minute. I CJ, didn't take pride in the man getting beaten. David. I didn't take pride in the man being beat. This was, was, you know, a necessary decision. You, on the other hand, even admitted that you were going to hell for this. Okay. I, I said I might. And he also <laughs> literally just said it was a necessary decision, too. <laughs> I mean, anyone that supports the burial of Booker T at WrestleMania 19 probably deserves to rot with Chris. Uh, here we oh, go. God. Here we go. <laughs> you know, this may sound crazy, but I'm enough of, the, of a Danny Bryan fan to realize that keeping the championship on him, it was actually doing more harm than good. And I'd rather see him give it up, go home, than to see him carted out there as a shell of his former self where every time I see him, I care less and less about his ass. Because honestly, that's where we were getting. Every time I saw Danny Bryan, I was like, uh, here, we, here he goes again. Because every time I see him, that momentum gets depleted, that intrigue gets depleted, that importance, all of it. It's gone. And his injury, him getting stripped of the championship, it's not his fault, but it is his reality. And he has no choice but to deal with it. I didn't even do that on purpose, but... Daniel Bryan failed to adapt. 